Welcome back. This is chapter 4 of SQL Server training series. In the past videos, we learned how to download and install SQL Server for free. Then we learned the difference between SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio. We also learned different ways to connect to SQL Server using SSMS. In this video, we will learn how to configure SSMS environment according to our requirements and preferences. Let's connect to our SQL Server first. First thing we will look at is Object Explorer. On the left side of our screen, this window is called Object Explorer. To pin or unpin a window, select the push pin icon in the title bar. This is the push pin. If we click this one, you can see our Object Explorer is not being displayed anymore. The benefit of this is if we are typing our queries let's do this and if we are typing this is our query window and then if our code is quite big and it is not possible to view all the code on our screen we might have to scroll along at the bottom let's let's try this make it bigger i'll show you in a second let's put it back so the longer the code will go, you will see a scroll bar at the bottom. As you can see on screen, this is our scroll bar. So to view all the code, we might need to use the scroll bar. Or other option is if we push this pin, then the scroll bar disappeared, which means we can see all the code there. So that's the advantage of using the push pin. Close this one down and just click on this window and click this and the window is docked back. To move a window, press and hold the title and then drag the window. In case we want to drag this window to a different location, we can do that. So it's gone to like as a tabbed, click it again and now it is in a floating position. We can move to the right, move at the bottom, wherever we want it to be. Each window component has a drop-down menu and you can use to manipulate the window in, in various ways. So there is also an option to hide if you want to hide it. So now our window is disappeared completely and we can carry on writing our code. After you are done and you want to view the Object Explorer window, simply go to Window, Reset Window Layout and then click yes and our window is back close this down and then you can also resize the object explorer window by using your mouse bring the mouse to edge of the this window the pointer changes and then you can drag according to your requirements in case the name of your objects listed here they are quite big and they are not visible either you can use this or you can use like that. When two or more query windows are open, for example, let's try this. This is our first. This is first. And then this is, oh, sorry, execute button. And that's the one. Second. This is our first window. And this is the second window. We can tab these windows horizontally or vertically. To view tabbed windows, right click the title of the query, right click here and then select tabbed option that you want. If you click horizontal, then you can see they are like this. And if you want to move it back, just right click it again and move to previous tab. So this is how it can go back to its original position. If we want to look at the vertical window option, we can just right click and then do this. And then we can see our windows have gone side by side. And then if we want to bring them back to its original position, we just right click it and move to previous tab group. And this back to normal the way it was before. Let's close this one down. We are not saving this and also close this down. Toolbars here, we can go there and add or remove buttons and then click customize on here we can add more icons to our toolbar or we can take them away for example if we click this 
our standard toolbar has disappeared. So if we click it back again, it will showing again, SQL editor. So this is how we can add or remove any toolbar options. To change the font, you, we can select tools, options, fonts and colors here under general. So on here, we can change different fonts so at the moment this is selected we can choose different one in here this is showing the sample data so you can choose according to your requirements which one do you, would you like to prefer that's not even readable let's try another one Korea so that's how it will look like so you can change according to your requirements how would you prefer to look at the font size uh, the type of the font, this is the size you can increase or decrease if you trouble reading it properly. And this is you can display a different color um, of the font. With, this is maroon, so this is all the co colors are there. So you can choose according to your requirements. We are not saving anything, just cancel that one. To change the zoom of query editor window, click new query. On here, let's type some code. This is our code. We can copy this and then we can type a few times. So this is our code. If you want to change the zoom, you can click this icon here and then you can either decrease or you can increase the, the zoom option. If you have a lot of code written in your query editor window and then you want to see more code, you might need to decrease it. But some people, they don't have a good eyesight. Either they can change the font size or they can increase the zoom. It can go to 200 or even 400%. This is how you do it. If this is not suitable, you have also another option where you highlight this number and then you can either type any number, let's say 75%. If it is suitable, if it, is, if it doesn't suit you, you can click back to 100% and you say 125% and it will be increased again. So this is how you change the zoom of your query editor window. Let's close this down. The next thing we are looking at is startup options. You can go to tools, then options. After that, you go to environment and then startup. This is a drop down list and you can choose the environment option you want. So when you open your SSMS, you can choose how it should behave open object explorer or open a new query window you know these are different options or an empty environment so by default it is open object explorer so you can change it according to your requirements we can just cancel this and come out of that it is useful to add line numbers to our code it helps in debugging for that you can simply go to tools then options after that, you go to text editor, all languages, and this is where the line numbers is. Just cancel this for now and start typing the code. This is our code. Copy this one and type a few times. So we have typed this code. If there is an error on, let's say, in this line, we are not sure where our error is. If our code is quite long, some of the codes, there are hundreds of lines, and it's quite difficult to go to that specific line if we are not using the line numbers. But if we go to Tools, Options, and then um, Environment, all languages and here is the line numbers if you click this option and click OK you can see it is displaying the line numbers so as we were talking about this row line number five we can see if there are hundreds of rows of code you can simply scroll 
your window and you can go to that line and you can fix if there's an error you can fix that error and then you can come out of that let's close this down another important thing is you can import or export the settings of your ssms to do that you go to tools import and export settings and this is how you can do that you can export your settings and click next and this is it will ask ask you where do you want to save it similarly if you want to import the settings you can do that next and this is where you can browse the options and then you can import that or you can reset all settings by clicking the last option and click next and that's how we will do it so we are not interested to change any settings so we simply click and come out of that thanks for watching this video that's all for now in the next video we will learn how to create our first database how to alter the database and how to delete an unwanted database see you in the next video